what can we do now? I think that's so important for people to hear that. And I love the term surrender to the process because sometimes mm-hmm. we think we're in control of the process. And when we're so mm-hmm. myopically focused, we don't realize the opportunities. You have an amazing organization now and you wouldn't have had that if you just wanted it to be what you wanted it to be and not let it actualize. So kudos to you for surrendering well, to the process. Thank you for that. And the other advice I would just like to throw in here, because this also was very important for me to learn. Along the way, people would say, well, I think that you should only focus on one school and get that going like really perfectly and then branch out. And I said, you know what? There are so many needs. And now I'm in five countries, you know? <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> I guess he likes that part of that. Hi, um, little one. <laughs> and I, <laughs> when I when I said that the idea, I'm so sorry. It's the okay. The idea of the skincare line, you know, people literally would look at me like I was crazy, like I was talking insane, insane ideas. And we have to also be willing to say, you know what, you may just not understand, and that's okay. But I know, like I understand and I'm following my own, you know, my own calling and my own pulls and, you know, synchronicities. I'm paying attention to all of it instead of, you know, worrying. I always tell my friends, what other people think is not our business. You know, I I want people to like me. Of course I do. But it's not really my business if you like me or you don't like me. I know who I am and what I'm doing in the world. The book B, a coloring Mm -hmm. journal planner that celebrates living a life of purpose by design. What do you want someone picking up this book to take away from it? Um, you know, maybe to start dreaming again. You know, I think people, we, we get, all of us get um, in the routine of, you know, dealing with daily lives, cleaning the house, feeding the kids, feeding the dogs, going to the store. You know, maybe just give a pause and think about, you know, what is it that we dream of having in our lives? What would we love to have? You know, um, also, you know, flipping the switch from being stuck in your circumstance and being upset about it to looking at what you have to be grateful for in your life. You know, thinking about things that inspire you, that make you come alive so that you can start living a life that you have, you include more and more things that bring you happiness and joy. Because when you're happy and full of joy, that energy spreads. I'm over here loving this, loving this, Dawn. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I'm trying to balance my my very uh, professional voice with my wanting to say, yes, queen, yes, and just sit over here <laughs> and enjoy everything you're saying. Because it's so important for people to hear this message and so important for people to be a part of just swinging it back to sensibility and service and care and love and loving love of self and love of of neighbor like it's just beautiful so you know most religions there are some universal chords and you know the highest teaching of almost all of them is love and kindness Mm -hmm. and if if we can if we miss that that universal universality of love and kindness then i think we're missing the boat absolutely You are planning a tour because you don't have enough to do. (laughs) (laughs) I can tell you're you're not so busy over there. So you're planning the B tour. Talk to us about it, please. The B tour is, you know, just an extension of the book, reminding people about these seven words and the power of uh, the power of our words, the power of these seven words and the power we all have within ourselves about who we choose to be. You know, life does, there are things that's going to happen in everybody's life. And that is part of the journey, but it's how we respond to them and what we take away from them and what we're able to do for others through those trials that we go through that makes the journey worthwhile. And, um, you know, so we want to spread that message with other people and maybe, you know, help them live happier lives that they can go out and be of service to others. And that's how we lift the world. You know, it's an evolution, not a revolution. I never want to talk about fighting because I don't think that we have to fight this. We just have to show people a different way. And those seven words that you're speaking of, do you mind listing them for us? I would love it. It's to be genuine, be loved, be strong, 
be grateful, be inspired, be kind, and be happy. You can't ask for anything better than that. Those are words <laughs> definitely to live by. Where can they find out information about the tour, tour dates, how to see you, how to connect with you? Well, we're just starting to put the tour dates together right now. We've got something coming in 2020 in Croatia. Maybe something magical will transpire in, for next year, um, earlier in the year. But um, we are at btour.org, just B-E-T-O-U-R.org. And we'll be putting information. We also have a mastermind group coming. We're starting in September, and that will be a, our 10x leadership um, class, online class. So we're really excited about that. And the organization is desire to inspire foundation.org. Correct. Where can they find the book? B. The book is on Amazon, and uh, you have to look up my name, Dawn Witte, Dawn, Dawn W I T T E, um, and that will pull up both the coloring journal and the book. The skincare products, we hopefully will be launching the website within the next couple of weeks, and that's going to be the Beeline Products.com. The Beeline Products.com. Okay. And to our listeners, all of these links will be in the podcast description. So when you download, from iTunes or Spotify or Stitcher, wherever you're downloading this, you'll be able to look in the description and you'll see the links clearly there. I absolutely suggest you check Dawn out. She's doing some amazing stuff. Um, I'm looking forward to the skincare line myself because, you know, I like to stay moisturized and exfoliated. So that's going to be exciting <laughs> for me, right? It's so good. <laughs> she's, like, she's like, it's so good. <laughs> now she's teasing us. You all hear that, right? She's teasing us. We have to wait for it, but she's using it right now. So, <laughs> Well, you know, the person that's developing with me, I told her, I don't want to put my name on anything that's not amazing. You know, I can't sell something to somebody if I don't fully believe in it and think it's right. amazing. So it has to be amazing. Well, that seems to be a theme with you. And that's what I'm finding so enjoyable <laughs> speaking with you. No, seriously, you're such a genuine and authentic person. It's like these seven words that you stated, they aren't just words that you say and you're trying to, you know, put out so that other people will buy your book or buy into your products. It seems as though you're, you're living them yourself. Like, this is this is who you are. And so everything you do is an extension of that. And you don't find that often with people. So. <sighs> you know, I, I, I don't know a different way to be. <laughs> you know, I really just don't. And, you know, I love going to the bank and having the tellers greet me. And, you know, just I, I love love. I love happiness. I love kindness. And I'm going to keep putting that out in the world no matter what anybody says. I I've recently been dating and one of my dates recently called me Pollyanna many times in a very <laughs> sarcastic way. <laughs> but my friend who also, you know, sees me in the same light, she called me a Disney princess. So it's like, you know, it depends on how you look at it. Some people are going to like that about me. Some people aren't, but I'm going to continue staying true to that, that part of who I am because that's who I am. I found through life experience, any person who has a problem with someone who is invested in their own joy probably needs to invest in their own just a little bit more <laughs> because mm -hmm. you know <laughs> other people's joy should never be a problem for you. It should never be. It should actually inspire you. You should want to. It should make you happy. Life. Right, right. What it did for me, what it does, and what it should do for everyone is let's get this book be. This woman is happy. She is living her truth. She is, you know, actualizing her dreams. Let's see her. Let's see what this is all about. Let's see what this journey is. So I really encourage everyone to go onto Amazon and pick up this book and just be, right? Mm, just be. Yeah. It has been my absolute pleasure to have you in the spotlight today, Dawn. Thank you so very much. Let's leave them with your social media if they'd like to follow you on in social media, Twitter, Facebook, that kind of thing. Do you have any of that to offer us? We do. We are on um, Facebook at the De Desire to Inspire Foundation and the B Tour. And we are also on Instagram at uh, Desire to Inspire Foundation and the Tour. I don't think we have that fit, that social media link up and going yet. But those are the two that we use most often and I can't deal with Twitter, so I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter can be an interesting place, so I understand. <laughs> 
Dawn, thank you so much. To all of our listeners, you've been listening to my conversation with Dawn Earhart Witty. She is the author of the book B. She is a certified life coach, speaker, and the founder of Desire to Inspire Foundation, as well as the upcoming Detour, which is coming out. And we're looking forward to a branded skincare and fragrance line from Dawn. Dawn, thank you so much for stepping into the spotlight today. I've had an amazing conversation with you. Tomas, has been my my pleasure and we should hang out <laughs> oh we're going to hang out it, i think we're gonna i think we're gonna have a a, a makeup and fragrance party because uh <laughs> you're like loving this stuff I, I, I right i need to see what's going on over there thank you to all the listeners for tuning in today until next time thanks for tuning in to the te spotlight enjoy if you talk and they will hear you why are we getting killed like this? Kyle's not here. Got caught drinking beer in the park a couple of nights ago. Really? Yeah. Zero tolerance. He's out for the season. Harsh. Hey, he knew not to drink. We've made that clear to all of our kids, right? Uh, no, not really. Bill, if we don't tell them what we expect and why they shouldn't drink, how are they going to know? Talk. They hear you. You can do it if you try. Thanks for listening to the TE Spotlight. Support today's guest by following the links provided in this episode's description and follow them on social media as well. Subscribe to the TE Spotlight on Spreaker, iTunes, TuneIn, iHeart, or your favorite podcast catcher app. Stay connected with Tomajan Entertainment on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at T-O-M-A-S-I-A-N-E-N-T. I hope today's spotlight has made your world a little brighter. Until next time, this is Tomas, and this has been the TE Spotlight. Spotlight.